the, the forward options are the big thing, really, because you know obviously that's where you, we have the biggest loss in terms of losing Mane, and you, you kind of look at it that way. But you know, I feel like Diaz, for example, has kind of gone under the radar a little bit in terms of how exciting he can be this season because comes in in January, you know, hits the ground running, scores a few goals, but you know, he's, he's he hasn't he didn't quite have that clinical edge that we, we got so used to seeing, and you know, what unreasonable to expect off a player just coming to the club. But I feel like after a pre-season, going into a season fresh. He could be one where, you know, because of how, how dangerous he is one on one, if he can if he can get that kind of clinical aspect, you know, we're talking about a player who get 20, 30 goals in a season, no problem. And and with the other players around, the likes of Carvalho and Elliot, who just seem to be part of this first team setup, you know, full stop. Carvalho's come in and, and just been taken in as one of the one of the lads basically. Yeah. And I think there could be some combinations there that we look at and we're like, well, a, this is brilliant now, but this is a combination for the next three years at, at Liverpool. Yeah, I think mean, you're right to talk about Diaz and to talk about you know how he could potentially go on even further because this is his first pre-season yeah. and he obviously comes in in January, really hits the ground running. But you know, this week I think is massive for Diaz. It's, it's big for a few of them, but but I think for Diaz, you know, maybe well, going to be more than anyone really because you know he's had to sort of play a lot on instinct mm. so far and listen his instincts look pretty good <laughs> uh, to me but but now he's got so this week training camp do, do we know that the Pep and Jürgen absolutely love and, and yeah. we know that you know they, they, they're so big on it in terms of you know combination play you know in terms of what you what you were just talking about there you know the, the linking off you know how we attack together you know how these passes where they don't even look like they're looking you know yeah. what do we see on the pitch and they just know it's there this is where this is drilled and i think this is massive but they are so i agree with you i think we can see much much more from them next year definitely definitely because i mean you know we like to talk about the mane sal of the you know front three and and the chemistry between them and that's not something that's just natural and and happens on the pitch you know that is the result of intense pre-seasons, working together, building that relationship up. And, and look, they know how to do that. This coaching staff, this manager knows how to create that and create a, a freedom in a front three, but also a bit of a, you know, a bit of, a, there's, there's a shape, you know, it's not it's not all chaos. And I think with these three, if you get, you know, if you get a, a Diaz, Salah and, and a Firmino, for example, ready to go from the start of the season, then, you know, you're talking about Darwin Nunes not having the same pressure to come in straight away and score goals. And, he, and to me, he seems like a player who, as soon as he gets that bit of confidence, he, he's able to ride that. And, and I think that's how you know you get the goal tally you do last season in, in, in Portugal. It's because of that confidence and being able to kind of use that momentum. And if, if the pressure can be off him slightly through the other options we have, and the managers like to talk about Firmino quite a lot, as needed yeah. in the preseason, he's back. You know, he's world class. Then, then you know, happy days because you don't. The last thing you want is your big signing feeling that pressure that he has to get all the goals. Yeah. And if, if you know Mo Salah can be Mo Salah, and you know Firmino can come back into it, and you got Diaz, then it just eases the burden a little bit, and everyone can come in when it feels natural rather than coming in because of any forced reasons. All right, the Reds, to enjoy the rest of this video as well as all of our premium content, just click on the join button below and join our YouTube membership. You'll get all of our exclusive content, including our match previews, our post-match reaction, our exclusive interviews, and all the transfer chat about who is coming in and out. So yeah, share the journey with us, supporting Liverpool from the heart of the city. We're home, we're away. Come and share it with us, up the Reds.